Okay, in this video, we're going to look at taking the logarithm of both sides to solve an exponential equation. What's different is that in the previous examples of this sort of technique, the bases were always equal. And in this example, the bases are unequal. Well, clearly, exponential equality is not going to work. Okay, because they're, they're unequal bases. Okay, so we can rule that out right away. Okay, uh, factoring is not going to work well either, because if I make some kind of u substitution, I say, okay, u equals 9 to the x, that doesn't help us at all with this side, right? It's useless. So that's out. So now I'm down to taking log of both sides, it's sort of a desperation measure. So let's take the logarithm of both sides. And if this were uh, maybe a 5 to the x over on the right, wouldn't be so hard. We could even use exponential equality, but it's a 9 to the x. So the question is, what kind of logarithm do we use? Do we use log base 5 or log base 9? Well, the truth is it doesn't actually matter. Just pick one and be consistent. You have to take the same logarithm on both sides. So I'm going to say logarithm base 5 because that's on the left. Right? That's uh, all the reason I need. And I'm going to say log base 5 of, and then this thing, um, 5 to, oh, that's awful, 5 to the 6x plus 3 equals log, again, base 5, it has to be the same log on both sides, equals 9 to the x. And now just work through what happens as a result of this. By the power rule of logarithms, this becomes 6x plus 3 in parentheses times log base 5 of 5. Well, I know something nice is going to happen there. And then over here, we have x times log base 5 of 9. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Log base 5 of 5, that crosses out. That's just equal to 1. So I get 6x plus 3 equals uh, x log base 5 of 9. Now, you're looking at this. I've got x's on both sides, right? There's an x, there's an x. Before I can solve for x, I need to get all the x's in one place. So let's do that. Let's bring the, the x's all over here on the left. I have 6x minus x log base 5 of 9. And on the right, let's just bring that negative 3 over here. Because there's no x's on that. And now I factor out an x as the greatest common factor. So that's x times 6 minus log base 5 of 9 equals negative 3, and hopefully you can see what we do now. There's just one thing in the way. I need to get rid of this uh, 6 minus log base 5 of 9. So we divide each side by 6 minus log base 5 of 9. That may be one of the strangest things you've divided each side by in an equation, but it is fine as long as you do it equally to both sides. So these terms cancel out, and we just get x equals negative 3 divided by 6 minus log base 5 of 9. That's all numbers. You can punch this all into a calculator. But if you're interested in the exact solution, here it is.